is this just a coincidence basically what you can see over here is i'm taking a log of matrix and the result is just the same matrix multiplied by pi by 2 so do you think it's a coincidence or there are some underlying reasons behind this and are there some ideas which can make this result really trivial what do you think i will answer all of these questions because this is not a coincidence and i'm going to answer why at last of the video but for now let's try to calculate this manually using matrix algebra techniques okay so now in such cases uh, when you have to find let's say e to the power some matrix a or log of some matrix a or some matrix a to the power thousandth power in such case there is a standard technique that you should follow that is first of all try to write matrix a in terms of p diagonal matrix and then p inverse where diagonal matrix is a uh, basically basically diagonal matrix is a matrix where only diagonal elements are non-zero all others are zero yeah but if you are trying to write a in terms of this form the elements of diagonal matrix come to be the eigenvalues yeah they are actually eigenvalues and so knowing this fact uh, it's helpful to solve for diagonal matrix and this fact can be known from the another fact that basically if uh, in this condition d and a are said to be similar matrices and similar matrices have same eigenvalues so from there uh, we can know that the diagonal elements are the eigenvalues because because if uh, it's lower triangular upper triangular uh, basically the diagonals will be the eigenvalues so that's why from that connection we can know this thing yeah. basically just just know that uh, the diagonal matrix has uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 in its main diagonal and others are 0 now to find p uh, we can p, okay so we can write p as a1 a2 b1 b2 and this a1 a2 and b1 b2 these are just two eigenvectors of a yeah. these are the eigenvectors of a and these two are the eigenvalues of a and lambda 1 corresponding to a1 a2 lambda 2 corresponding to b1 b2 okay and say so if we have uh, this form uh, if we find p d and p inverse vector for a then it's easier because uh, we don't i have proved it in my uh, uh, previous videos that if you have to find a to the power a then we can just do p d to the power a and p inverse if you have to find e to the power a also we can just do p e to the power d p inverse if you have to find log of a also or we can just do p log of d p inverse i have already proved this in my previous videos uh, which playlist i have linked over here and not just this now to find d to the power n also it's easier uh, lambda 1 to the power n 0 0 lambda 2 to the power n and to find e to the power d also it's easy e to the power lambda 1 0 0 e to the power lambda 2 if you have to find log of d same thing log of lambda 1 0 0 log of lambda 2 i proved all of these things in my uh, videos in the playlist yeah now if we know all of these things now we are ready to find the logarithm of this matrix yeah first of all let's find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors and then only we can deal with the things so let us say a is this matrix 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 0 and if a is this matrix now to find the eigenvalues we know we need this definition uh, we need to in this formula let's say a minus uh, lambda i determinant should be 0 and to find eigenvectors uh, we will use this a minus lambda i matrix times uh, the eigenvector is equals to 0 now first of all let's use this a is the, there so determinant of and lambda i so minus lambda minus lambda and others minus 0 minus 0 is equals to 0 okay so now we can take the determinant yeah 
we have lambda square plus 1 equals to 0 lambda square is equals to minus 1 lambda equals to i or minus i okay corresponding to each eigenvector we will have sorry each eigenvalue we will have an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to i uh, this equation will be okay minus i i minus 1 1 yeah to subtract uh, the minus i times i that is identity matrix with a and then with x y is equals to 0 yeah now we have minus i x minus y equals to 0 now, the question also give same solution so we can just consider one of them and so we have solution one of the solution as uh, okay so i comma 1 yeah if it's i that will just be 1 and minus 1 okay there are also other solutions but whichever you take that's fine i'm going to take this one now corresponding to lambda equals to minus i we will have i i and then minus 1 1 yeah a minus lambda i i i and minus 1 yeah okay times x y is equals to 0 now this will just be i x minus y equals to 0 now you can take uh, x y as you can take x as minus i that will make it 1 and 1 minus 1 okay that's fine so these two are the eigenvectors and i minus i are the eigenvalues that's why our p will just be i1 minus i1 and d will be i minus i 0 0 now with these uh, things discovered now we are ready to begin finding the logarithms i minus i 1 1 uh, okay fine now we know that uh, our, our vector sorry matrix 0 minus 1 1 0 is equals to our p is i minus i 1 1 and 1 1 and then our d is i minus i 0 0 and then p inverse is i minus i 1 1 inverse okay now if you want to take logarithms yeah so let's take the logarithms logarithms of 0 minus 1 1 0 we can take the log of the elements in d only we know that already i minus i 1 1 and the logarithms of i if you take principal logarithm we will have i pi by 2 0 0 over here minus i pi by 2 yeah and this now the uh, inverse is 1 by determinant is 2i and then 1 i i minus 1 yeah switch the di main diagonal and the other diagonal ne negate them now after this there is nothing much to do ln of 0 minus 1 1 0 this will just be we can take power to common from here yeah and divide by i to this matrix so we have i minus i 1 1 if we divide by i we will have 1 0 0 minus 1 yeah okay we also have a 2 over here so this is pi by 2 into 2 is it yeah and then over here we have 1 i minus 1 i okay now we need to multiply these things pi by 4 is there yeah if you multiply the first two what do we get uh, uh, i and then again i yeah i and again i now this is 1 uh, minus 1 okay over here we have 1 minus 1 i i okay now again we multiply what do we get pi by 4 times this is i minus i that's 0 and then uh, uh, that's minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 
that's two that's zero okay so this is pi by two times zero minus one one zero yeah so we did get the result that i said in the beginning yeah by some huge calculations involving a lot of new theorems but was this just a coincidence no exactly no let us see like some cool things about this matrix uh, 0 minus 1 1 0 if we square this matrix let's see what we get 0 minus 1 1 0 and then 0 minus 1 1 0 the square of this matrix is actually we get uh, 0 times minus 1 and then 0 and then 0 minus 1 so you see this is just minus i okay so this matrix is actually equivalent to minus 1 in real numbers so since this matrix is the square root of this ma minus 1 this matrix is equal to equivalent to i in real in complex numbers yeah so this matrix the uh, corresponding to i we have 0 minus 1 1 0 Corresponding to minus 1, we have minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Corresponding to 1, we have 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, if you now notice that this is just i, we are taking ln of i. We know that i is just the principal value of i is basically e to the power i pi by 2. Now, we know that this should just be i to pi by 2. So you see, why do we get this result? This is just pi by 2. Again, this is just I matrix. So if you have known uh, like this thing that this exactly happens according to what happens in complex numbers, then it would have taken less than few seconds. Yeah, because that was just I matrix and I is to the pi by 2. So we get pi by 2 times I matrix again. This was not a coincidence. Most of the things in maths are not a coincidence. You just need to have some broader view or let's say broader knowledge of the field to know what's going on. Yeah. Similar to these things, we can also I want you to prove this thing now. So if we take ln of let's say minus one. Now we know that a minus one is e to the power i pi. So, pi times 0 minus 1, 1, 0. And how do I know this? Because this is just minus 1 and it, uh, one minus 1 is e to the power i pi. So, we get pi times i. Yeah. You can prove this thing. Also, you can prove something like this. Uh, okay. Ln of cos alpha minus sin alpha sin alpha cos alpha first of all try to see how uh, this matrix is just e to the power i alpha try to see that how this is true and then after you find that this is true uh, prove that that is just alpha times 0 minus 1 1 0 so you see like such complex things are also trivial after you know what was going on because this could be compared to complex number and then easily found out yeah so i do think you have enjoyed this video because i gave you some good insights on how to predict some logs exponents yeah and how do we compare this to complex numbers and these are so beautiful stops hope you enjoyed the video look forward to seeing in the upcoming videos too